Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, nice meet, uh, nice introduction from Brno, and welcome to our webinar uh, where we will present the news and highlights of version 24, which has been released recently, actually last week or two weeks ago. So let me introduce the presenters. My name is Jan. I'm country manager for Czech Republic and Slovakia, and I'm happy to be one of the co-hosts here. And I have a great team of product engineers here with me. Uh, Adam Kozoušek. Adam, can you hear us? Yes, I do. Hello, everybody. Greetings from rainy Brno. <laughs> yes, it's raining a lot. We are ready to deliver the best performance ever, according to the best version ever released. Sure. I hope and you then we hear me well. We can hear you well, Adam. Thank you very much. Then we have Luka Juricek, our concrete expert. Uh, good morning, guys. Hello. And Diana Kadirova, product engineer as well. You know her from Connection Wednesdays a lot. Hello, Diana. Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Hello. Okay, we have a, a lot of top, a lot of things to say. So uh, let's move on. Uh, for those who are new at our webinar, feel free to ask questions. Uh, on the right side, there is a menu, questions. If you want to comment something, ask something, put your note there. We will try to answer at the at the end of the webinar, maybe or even during the session. So we are happy to get your feedback and questions here. So going to the agenda, uh, we divided this webinar into, let's say, four parts, main four parts. Uh, the first is uh, focused on steel. We will talk more about our new feature, steel pins, then parametric templates and uh, enhancements in our sketches. Uh, then we will move into concrete. We have a big announcement in this version. Uh, we have a beta version of 3D detail, which is uh, mainly uh, dedicated uh, for design of reinforced footings and out of plane loaded walls. Then I uh, will show you the link between our connection application and our 3D detail. And there are some other uh, adv uh, upgrades in detail application like multi-select and bulk editing. And then we also have a new application for everyone, Checkbot free. And there are also some uh, improvements in our cloud uh, application and services like viewer, user portal with a new layout. We have some uh, error handling with description. And also there are general improvements uh, uh, which are going through our applications. So we'll talk about this later. And before passing the presentation to Adam, I would like to ask you whether you've already installed the version 24. So please give us your answer to this. So over 30% of you have voted, almost 40 now. Great, 50% now. So I will give you 10 more seconds, please. And I'm happy to see uh, how's the adoption of new version going and how many of you is really keen to trying new versions. So five more seconds and let's close it. And let's see the results. So 41% of you have already installed. It's great to see that you have already tried. And 28% uh, still using the older version. And 27% doesn't have an access to, uh, to the license. So I believe after this webinar, all of you will either install the new version or upgrade to the latest version. So now, Adam, it's your turn. And you can tell us the news in steel. All right, so taking the presenter, so you should see the slide, what's new in steel department of the new version 24. Confirmed, that's good. And so the first improvement and uh, developed um, wish fulfilled from our side towards you, our customers that we listen to, is the steel pins. So version 24 uh, allows you to design um, regular 
uh, pins. Those are typically used for bracing members where you uh, transmit normal and shear forces and no moments. These are very, of course, very often used as, as a one bolt connection or in, instead of one bolt connection. And uh, basically it's a 1D element. Um, this pin um, loaded by shear and bending moment. All right. And the material that is uh, made of in the um, analytical model inside Idea Statica or CBFEM, it's the uh, construction steel. So this is uh, the um, default uh, set of parameters. And you can, of course, uh, modify this as you wish. And for example, if we use a, a bolt material uh, instead of a pin, you can just um, you know, edit the parameters such as um, ultimate strength, etc., in the material stuff inside the application. All right, how you uh, input a pin? It's easy. The operation fasten a grid or contact or so-called bolt grid. I'll show you that in a short demonstration. How it works, how it feels. So let's see. I have uh, five plates here. Uh, such a connection that I want to connect by a pin. So for that, I have defined the operation fastener grid or contact. The fastener type is pin. I've got five plates defined. The type of the fastener, this is the operation that I uh, use for that. And everything is set. So I just calculate that and see what results does it give me. I see the green color of the pin, so it's safe to use it. I see the bending moment and shear force diagram uh, inside uh, the pin, the 1D element of it, and of course the code checks as per Euro code. Then I can go to materials and see the uh, defined uh, set of parameters for the pin. So you can see the uh, geometrical properties and the uh, material properties, which are under the, the steel material S235 in this case. And this one I can, of course, edit as I wish. All right, uh, one important thing is pins are available now for Eurocode only in this version. All right. That were pins, and now another chapter uh, in our, let's say, um, uh, movement towards users um, that deal with simple connections. So we want to make your life easier, and honestly, we want to replace the Excel spreadsheets and convince you that it's much better and convenient to use Idea Statica connection to design simple connections as well as the moderate or the complex ones. For that, we have developed in this version parametric templates. So parametric templates uh, makes the input much easier, much shorter, much faster, much more um, user-friendly for, let's say, basic users that we focus on. Also, uh, we implemented new conversion tab when you apply these templates from connection library, where you can easily uh, redefine uh, the used code or standard, the materials, etc. Uh, another part of the package is the enhanced sketches. So we improved dramatically the sketches that we uh, can produce in connection app and include them in the report. And they, those are also implemented in the connection library template. And the last but not least thing is a great um, feature, which is the automatic weld sizing. So by one click, you define the size of all welds in the model as per ductility or utilization level you like. All right, so that's, let's say, a summary. And let's see each of these. Um, features or improvements in action. So let's see um, a short demonstration video where you will understand what's the difference. So this is the standard workflow. It's 
much faster than in real life. And you can see you need to define all the um, operations, its parameters, etc. cetera. Uh, that's not a nightmare, but still it takes a little time. So this standard workflow for this model takes about two minutes and 40 modifications or clicks. Next to that, this is the parametric approach. So I click on the operations. There I have defined parameters. I only modify the values of parameters and I am done. So you see, um, this is the difference between the um, standard workflow and the parametric workflow. 15 seconds instead of two minutes, four clicks instead of 40 clicks. So that's it. And what are the parametric templates about or how have we improved them? So here we focus on the uh, fast design really. And uh, to uh, explain that, uh, I would differentiate two types of users. One would be the admin or let's say senior engineer within a company who is responsible for management and preparation of these uh, parametric templates. So this persona would create them and save them and provide them to let's say standard users junior engineers or detailers who would then produce all the designs using these parametric templates. So that would be um, the second variant as you uh, have just seen in the video. As you can see, designing simple connections with parametric templates takes almost no time and uh, you can use these conversion tabs. That is basically this. So I have a geometry I call connection library uh, propose. I select parametric template, the one uh, is prepared, and this is the uh, conversion tab. Here I can much easier uh, choose um, possibly different materials or even different code. As, as you can see, the operations are grayed out and what I can only do is to change the parameters in the parametric input. So this is, let's say, the workflow of the, of the basic user or uh, the detailer, junior engineer. Uh, if I wish, I can explode this parametric input and continue uh, editing uh, each operation separately. So this is possible as well. All right, that was the parametric template. Now, enhanced sketches. Of course, uh, you need to produce sketches and deliver them together with the report and the code checks. Um, we have, for this reason, improved uh, sketches that we um, have in Ideastatica Connection. So we got rid of the overlapping texts and lines and dimensions. We have added the menu to do um, 3D scene ribbon and the pictures in the report are big now. And uh, the sketches are now also, if they are defined and published in a template in connection library, they stay there. So you don't need to define uh, each time you apply a template these sketches and again, again and again, sorry, but um, you just apply the template and you don't care of those sketches anymore. They will be part of the report automatically. So let's see again a short demo. So here I have a geometry. I will call connection library propose, select the uh, template or the design. Up in the ribbon, I can activate the sketches and see those two that were already defined in the uh, template. And I can add one more sketch that I want the, um, the side view and see the dimensions for the bolts. And I can see now the three sketches defined. I can also turn on and off um, additional settings such as uh, dimensions and, and um, text, etc. So there is some, uh, let's say, simple editing. And in the report, it's automatically added uh, 
just to the um, first part of it. All right. Of course, I can turn that off if I don't want those sketches to be part of it. That's for the sketches and now automatic weld sizing. This is um, a great improvement that provides you, um, again, even faster design of welds and also safe design of welds in, in case that you aim for certain level of ductility. But uh, there are now four options in IDEA Connection. So it's capacity estimation that is based on machine learning and that actually works that you set the desired level of utilization of your welds in the model, let's say 80%, and the algorithm then would um, redesign or change the thickness of your welds so that after you calculate um, the connection model, you reach up to 80% of the weld utilization. Then there is um, the automatic weld sizing based on ductility. There are three levels, minimum, full strength, and over strength. And uh, this is based on the um, ductility equations for weld sizing in, in codes, in Eurocode for the minimum, in other codes for full strength and over strength as well. All right, again, a short demo. I have a model, two millimeters of welds everywhere. This is the uh, over strength, this is full strength, and this is minimum ductility. You can see how the weld sizes change. Now I calculate the model for the minimum ductility at weld design. I can see the utilization, this UTC uh, column and these numbers. It's all right, and if I decide I wanna use the uh, capacity design approach, I will set the target utilization of 20%. Okay, here I switch to, to capacity estimation as uh, the target weld sizing method. Recalculate that and the welds have, weld size has been changed. You can see now thicker welds and in the UTC column, you can see uh, the values maximum at 20%. So it's very quick uh, intro to this um, complex and great feature. You can read more about this in the release notes and theoretical background. And we move forward. Um, a similar thing we have for bolts as well. This is auto design of bolts, but this is limited to shear uh, connections and to operations thin plate and splice. Those are typical shear uh, connections, right? And this auto design of bolts that would basically, add, with one click, um, change and modify the um, position of bolts, so the bolt grid, the, the plate size and thickness. What it doesn't change, what you want to keep, um, is the bolt size and grade and uh, the material of the plate that is connecting the members. All right, so we can test this, try it, play with that and see how it helps you to be faster and more productive and safe at the same time. Leg size slash throat thickness. Those are two approaches in defining the mm, weld size, let's say. This is, um mostly for our UK um, users and friends that need to be uh, somehow always special, right, in these regions. But um, nevertheless, uh, we have implemented this, um, this function that you can very simply switch between these two definitions of the weld size, either leg size or throat thickness, that would automatically recalculate the sizes of your welds in your connection model and display them in the different system or different approach. All right, very simple, but very handy feature. Connection library, 
our uh, great database um, of connection designs. This is uh, partly in IDEA connection app and partly in browser online version. And in this online browser version, we have added um, new filter that you can um, filter uh, your found designs per code. Uh, so that's simple. And also we have added more um, connection examples, designs that you can browse, download, and use right away, modify, or just find inspiration there, anything you wish. And there is almost one million connections now. That's um, amazing. And we are definitely going to work on this uh, project more to give you more convenient um, feeling dealing with this connection library. And there are more improvements. There is a, a lot of things in the new version 24. Uh, so another features listed here in uh, my last slide. There are PJP welds uh, for AISC codes only in this version. So it's not a highlight for European region, but for our um, mostly US or the whole American uh, continent uh, customers and users, as well as these L bolts or hooked anchors, also AISC only. We have added another standard uh, uh, for uh, anchoring check uh, for the Australian region. Uh, high strength steel, when you use that in your projects, you can uh, differentiate the strain limit in the code setup for this high strength steel and um, set a, a different limit uh, regardless the standard steel. So if you combine these standard steel and, and high strength steel in your connection models, you can have different limits. So that helps in a certain project. Uh, that was a problem previously solved today. Uh, extend the member with a cut operation. So we have redesigned this feature. It was there already, but now it works even better, as well as uh, a new type of cut. Uh, cut of plate by another plate or another member or a working plane. It is now possible in the parallel plane as um, the plate is, which was not possible before. And last um, last thing to um, make some of our users happy that <laughs> are focused on design of applications. There are new icons in members, so we have finalized the redesign of our UI of our applications. So member has new icons as well. That pleases me a lot. And that's it from my side about steel in version 24. Now, Thank you very much. Jan, will you yeah. summarize? Yeah. Yes, thank you very much for a nice presentation of main highlights of version 24 in our steel. So just to summarize it, uh, what we think is the best uh, are the steel pins, which is a new fastener type. Uh, we also introduced parametric templates, which can reduce your work time a lot. And then sketches, which could be really useful for a uh, cooperation between uh, structural engineers, engineer of record detailers, also uh, optimization tool like weld sizing, auto design of bolts. We are still working on connection library and putting more and more uh, connections there and uh, improving functionalities. And also there is a lot of news for those who are working for say overseas, uh, not European uh, projects, uh, PJP welds in American standard, uh, anchoring updates and other features in for America and a, American and Asian projects. So thank you very much, Adam. And now I think it's the it's turn for Lukash and Lukash will show you the features and news in concrete. So Lukash, it's your turn now. 
Okay, thank you, Ian. So I will take a presenter. Uh, okay, so let's commence the next chapter. I hope you can all see my screen. Yes. Uh, perfect, thank you for confirmation. So uh, what we uh, developed, what we improved uh, in the concrete, uh, there's a lot of new things, uh, a lot of improvements. So let's start. Uh, at first, I would like to focus on the what we uh, developed and improved in the application idea statica detail. So uh, you can generally celebrate because we have released the three beta version of uh, the detail. So <clears throat> we call it the augmented compatible stress field method because you know it's extended to the to the uh, to the space to the 3D uh, 3D volume elements uh, with 1D reinforcement three bars, where uh, the first use case is a general footing where uh, you can like design and the code check the steel to concrete. Uh, connections or uh, or concrete to concrete anchoring. Uh, we support uh, in the first phase Eurocode and ultimate limit state checks like the strength and the and the anchorage. So let me demonstrate uh, how it's how it's very easy and handy to use it in our application. So you will create a solid block uh, that can be rectangular or can be polygonal. So it's uh, up to you what geometry you will select. Um, so you need to align or put there uh, the surface surface support uh, that will be like put it on some on some on some surfaces. Uh, the support can be arbitrary uh, based on the inputs. You will put there some um, steel section with a base plate where uh, you can specify the diameters uh, or dimensions and uh, diameters of the anchors where you will put. Uh, the forces into the anchors that are under tension. So uh, you can very easily use the point forces there where you will apply uh, the forces to every anchor. Uh, based on that, you need to you need to use some um, compression force that can be a value group of forces feature used very easily and uh, you have all the load cases and the combinations prepared. You will assemble uh, the reinforcement that will be inside. So you will create some like a spatial net in both directions reinforcement. So you can see it's reinforced and right now you can run the run the analysis. So if you run the analysis, so you will see very easily the um, strength, uh, stress in the, comp uh, in the concrete. You can draw the mesh and you can check the stress in the reinforcement and the uh, and the anchors and also the relevant deformations. You can very easily turn on the, the tensor of the stresses, the principal stresses in all three dimensions and print it out, print it out the report. Lucas, I think I can't hear you. Now it's uh, wait. Yeah. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, okay, right now you hear me? Yes, we do. Okay, thank you so much for. Uh, the fixing that <clears throat> okay so i hope you uh, i didn't miss a lot um so we'll be fo uh, forward to uh, the general walls where you can put uh, the topology and also the eccentric loads so we are supporting at this model where you can assemble more um, more walls um, up to each other so <clears throat> we are supporting the autotropic materials uh, you can also import uh, the rebars and uh, the entity of the elements from the DXF, so it's very it's very useful. And we are using uh, like the unique mesh formulation over the thickness because uh, because of the computational speed. Also, we support the ultimate limit state in the first stage and strength and the anchorage anchorage check. 
So these are uh, big two uh, improvements uh, in the application 3D detail. And uh, right now is coming the, uh, I would say the missing work workflow between Ideas Tika connection and uh, the detail solution or, or concrete package. Uh, this is the workflow that like supply uh, the code check of the reinforced concrete block. So right now the users have the option to export um, the base plate with the concrete block and with the with the anchors to Idea Statica detail and reinforce the concrete block with uh, yeah with the reinforcement and run the analysis and get the results and the post-processing based on the reinforced concrete block so it's very it's very useful and i think you will love it <clears throat> also we support uh in the first stage euro code and ultimate limit state so uh what is very important to keep in mind at first i would like to show you the demonstration so you have a connection in the application Ideastica connection and you can see the anchors are failing because of the concrete uh, pull out or splitting out of the edges. So you can export the structure or the concrete block to Ideastica detail, reinforce it, run the analysis because there are also the forces in the anchors and you can see you have very easily and nicely code check the uh, reinforced concrete block based on the Error code standards. So, uh, Jan, if you can if you can comment it this section, please. Uh, it's very yes. important for the users. Yes, please. So maybe a lot of you is amazed as I was when I saw this functionality or the first time. Uh, the 3D uh, 3D detail is available for all our uh, concrete customers, but you don't have to be worried if you have just the license you can uh, also have an access to beta version of 3D detail. You can either just click on the detail, uh, export to detail button in your connection application and you will be re redirected to a form. You'll just fill your name and company name and you will get an uh, access to the uh, license uh, temporarily. Or you can, just, uh, you can just use a link to this form. We will share the link here with, to all of you. So, for those who are interested, uh, feel free to ask for the version. Uh, Lukash, can you please uh, move to another slide? And uh, I have a question for you. Uh, so I'm interested in whether you will use the beta version of 3D Detail, and if so, for what mainly? So please, yes, uh, you will use it mainly for reinforced concrete walls, or you will use it for anchoring uh, in concrete block, or you want to use it only for some experiments or you don't see any use of it. So please share your feedback with us because as, as we said, it's still in beta version. Uh, we The development is still ongoing and uh, we want to introduce more and more improvements in this application and this feedback will be uh, important for uh, us. All right, so I will give you then more seconds. Can yes. you run the poll? Can you run the poll? I I'm running the poll. Yeah, ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's my fault. Okay. Already 56% have voted. So five more seconds. Okay, let's close it. Okay, still what some of you. I'm closing it now. And let's share the results. All right, so 60% of you will use it for anchoring in concrete. 10% uh, mainly for concrete walls, 22% of you for some other experiments, and only 9% don't see any usage. So we are, that's great results. So we are looking forward and we want to deliver the full version as soon as possible to all of you. So I'm hiding the results and Lukas, you can continue with your presentation. Perfect. Thank you, Andre. So uh, we'll continue to another improvements uh, regarding the application Idea Statica Detail that is uh, like wallet for 2D, also for 3D. So this is a multi-select and uh, like bulk editing of uh, the reinforcement or uh, the members. So it's very useful because you can use uh, like a homogeneous or heter heterogeneous selection, and uh, based on that you can like select 
like the batch of the reinforcement or batch of the uh, members and immediately change the diameter for all the groups. So uh, this will uh, make your life easier because you can like create uh, design and coaching very big projects and uh, do the quick modification of your of your geometry. So uh, I have also some demonstration that is uh, really nice. So as you can see, uh, the beam is uh, heavily reinforced um, with the group of the bars and the and the stirrups. So uh, I can. I can import the reinforcement from my DXF reference and it's valid for uh, the version, or it was valid for the version 23, but right now it's also valid for version 24. The, the approach is the same, but what is different? So in the version 23, you can see you need to modify uh, just step-by-step step, uh, the group of the bars and it takes a lot of, a lot of time. So, uh, what is happening in the version 24 in the version 24 you can use the uh, shortcut and select the batch of the group of the bars and let's say change let's say change the uh the diameter on the one click let's say i have changed it immediately so we can see for group of the bars 10 till 24 i have changed the diameter to into 12. so it's very it's very easy it's very handy to use and this is also valid for the not only for the reinforcement three bars and uh the parameters but also for members that can be very quickly changed okay uh what about the outputs and the report uh there have been also improved a lot uh, the first improvements is uh, uh dedicating to the uh, graph printing out that uh, you can very easily like like hit the point on the on the mesh and uh, print it out uh, the graph where uh, you can see the dependency where on the horizontal axis there are some increments of the pre-stressing permanent and the variable loads and on the vertical axis there you can select some variables like like the stress stress tensor uh, deformation crack width and you can very uh, nicely see uh, the trend uh, where it's linear, where it's non-linear, and how it behaves. So it will uh, help you a lot to understand your structure more. And uh, this graph can be also exported to the DXF or CSV format and use it in your um, in your document. What about the report? Uh, we have completely revitalized and redesigned uh, the report, uh, where you can see very um, the main screen is uh, really big, where you can where you can uh, see uh, all the all the outputs. On the right part, there have been anchored some property grid where uh, you can uh, very easily customize uh, your your project, uh, your report, and you can use uh, the option uh, drag and drop where you can reshuffle um, the tiles in the report and like customize your report by your own. Uh, you can also export uh, the theoretical back or not not the theoretical background, but uh, yeah, the theoretical background can be printed out in the English, uh, German, Dutch, and Czech Czech language, and many more will will come. We have also improved the build of the materials, like the description of the rebars, uh, that will make you that will um, enable you to better identify what rebars is it. What about the improvements uh, dedicating to UI and the UX? Uh, you can use the copy paste function. Copy paste function is enabled. So for complicated geometry or uh, tendon layout or internal forces, you can just copy paste your internal forces or uh, coordinates uh, through, from, the, from the access spreadsheet. Also, we have improved uh, the, the the view or the rendering of the model. So you can uh, on the main scene, in the main scene in the top right corner, there is a control panel. Uh, there have been added some um, options for the real view, model view, some transparent solid, and the wireframe view that that will help you during the modeling a lot. Um, what about the material tab? Uh, because we are trying to unify uh, all the all the applications across each other, so we have uh, we have changed the layout um, of the material tab, where the property grid 
is like anchored on the right side where you can find all the physical and the material properties uh, also you can very easily jump to their to every material like a concrete a reinforcement or pre-stressing and to use the context menu uh, with the if, if you hit the right um, button on the mouse so uh, you can very easily save copy and change the parameters of uh, your predefined uh, material <clears throat> yeah it's been uh, or it was idea statica detail uh, we have also improved uh, the other applications uh, one of them is uh, application idea statica rcs uh, where we have uh, extended and augmented the uh, Bauman's theory, let's say, uh, where we improved or added more angles for, for the check. So you can see the differences between the version 23.1 and the version uh, 24. So there are more angles and these more angles capture more failure modes. So uh, right now, the like the extension of the angles is based on the uh, principal shear direction. So this is the reason why the angles are there. Uh, so it capture more failure modes like shear and the interaction included. Uh, for those who are using uh, the Swiss code, so right now uh, it's been updated, it's up to date. So material database for concrete uh, and three bars is uh, actually updated based on the uh, Swiss code uh, 262, 2013. And it's my favorite. Uh, RCS API improvements. So we have improved a lot uh, the API for RCS. Uh, it's very it's very useful for the people who uh, don't like the repetitive work. <clears throat> so generally, our goal uh, in the version 24 was to replace the legacy RCS API controller uh, by the real API. Uh, generally, the API, what is it? The API enables to communicate and interact with uh, the RCS. So we can say that it's like a first new age API, which is based on the REST technology. <clears throat> and uh, you can use a C Sharp or the Python language, programming language for communicating uh, and using like a controlling the application. So uh, generally, you can you can export the ex existing RCS file and run the let's say batch analysis of the sections, make the sensitivity study, uh, and many and many more. And mainly, you can already use the repetitive work uh, for for structural engineers. So I have really nice demo for for that. So let's imagine that. Um, we would like to do some sensitivity study of the reinforcement. So, what's what's are the outputs for three different three different uh, reinforcement concrete sections? So, you can see this is in the applications where we have a bending moment 30 kilo newton meter, and we have three different three different sections where we will apply the reinforcement, we run the calculation, where we will extract the results and plot it to the graph. So, there are three different sections or three same sections with a different reinforcement longitudinal reinforcement you will just uh, install uh, the rcs controller this is the uh, python and you will import the library like a map bot plot lip and the numpy uh, for plotting the graph and using the function from that you will just uh, select the project what you would like to to run and uh, get the id of the of, of the sections and from the data frame from the database uh, you can run the loop over over the sections and you will get you can see in the list there are three sections and based on these three uh, sections you will run the loop and get the results from the point of view of the stress limitations crack width and uh, many more so shear interaction response yeah? and you can see these are the uh, code checks in there like the ratio and I would like to print it out the results to the graph so I can use the numpy and, and I can use the loop over over the sections and very nicely show and uh, put the output to the graph. So this is the first example. The second example is like a uh, crack sensitivity study where I would like to incrementally apply the bending moments and uh, let's say check in the 
visual form um, how is the dependency between the bearing capacity and the crack wave so for me it's important and i would like to know it so uh, it's the same approach i have uh, the section rectangular section with the bending moment of the five kilonewton meter i will run the client uh, import the library and uh, run the loop like the four cycles over over some increments so i have increments up to three kilonewton meter and this is my graph dependency of the crack wave on the capacity so you can see how very easily you can you can make your sensitivity study using uh the powerful engine which is behind the rcs and uh the synergy of the uh of the python language okay so i think uh, sorry i think it's all jan if you can summarize it yes thank you lukash for a nice presentation so quick summary what's new in concrete i would say the main highlight is the beta version of uh, 3d uh, detail for footings and walls also uh, this is uh, together with this big uh, big uh, improvement exports from connection to detail uh, we've shared the link with you so i'm saying it again everyone who wants to try it feel free to click on the link and register uh then uh we have some improvements which helps you with uh, modeling in detail like bulk modifications faster scene etc uh, uh improvements in report as well and also good uh, on big step for those who likes uh parametric designs uh, rcs api so you can quick optimize your designs so thank you lukash for the news in uh, concrete and i will ask yana to show us news in BIM and cloud applications. So Jana, your turn now, thank you. Sure, thank you very much. Uh, you should uh, be seeing my screen at the moment. And I want to add another piece of information about our 24 release and they will all be connected to our BIM and cloud solutions. What is new here? Uh, you may notice uh, once you uh, once you install uh, the version 24 that we have a new version, let's say, of Checkbot. It's Checkbot Free, and Checkbot Free is dedicated for uh, users who don't need paid license. Uh, Checkbot Free can do a lot of things. You can still take your connections or members from your FEA or CAT applications and uh, export it to Idea Statica projects or see it in the viewer as well. You can manage uh, your load there. You can uh, import uh, different types of uh, different types of uh, projects. Nevertheless, you will not be able to open actually the Idea Statica uh, connection file in Idea Statica connection application because you don't have uh, the paid license. So uh, who's uh, the target user? Uh, it may be, let's say, for example, a draftsman who doesn't really need to pay for the license because he does not do the structural analysis of the connection, but he just wants to pass his project to an, uh, to an engineer who will continue working with that. So therefore he can use this checkbot free uh, version to do so. Uh, with this, we are also replacing our CAT plugins. So if you used to uh, install them uh, now, uh, we have only one install file, so you don't have to search for uh, different install files on our web page. We have only one install for Idea Statica solution. And if you create your uh, free account, we call it basic account, you can get this checkbook uh, free. I will show it in a short video, so you can uh, still need to log in with your basic account. And uh, once you do so, you can open Idea Statica window. Some of the functions are grayed out. You will all uh, you will still be able to install install your plugin in uh, the BIM Link installer. Uh, in this demo, 
uh, you will see SAP 2000 workflow. So now we are in the project of SAP 2000. Uh, we have installed the plugin before, uh, which is only like uh, one time action. Now we can call Ideasatica Checkbot directly for, uh, from SAP 2000, create a new Checkbot project. And here we go. You can see we are in the free version of Checkbot. Uh, some functions again are grayed out with a tool tip explaining why you cannot do something, but still you can take uh, connections from your project. So let's select a piece of a structure and load the connections. Uh, here we go. We have a list uh, of connections as well as uh, the 3D scene. And you can uh, send these connections to viewer. You can download Idea Statica file from here. You can see all the loads as well uh, in the manager, as well as in the scene. You can display the load here to check uh, whether everything is fine. You can create a new connection and so on. What you cannot do, you cannot open Ideastatica connection from here if you don't have paid license. So for example, uh, I want to send these four connections from Checkbot to Viewer. So I will select them in the scene or in the list and I will open it, open them in the Viewer, uh, which I'm not presenting presenting at the moment because uh, I will have another demo about viewer uh, in a few seconds. Before, uh, uh, here is an updated table of uh, our BIM links supported in version 24. You can uh, see what versions are we currently officially supporting. For Autodesk products, uh, 2025, you will need uh, to wait till I think about second patch of uh, our version. Uh, SDS2 uh, 24 will be connected in our first patch already. Uh, now, what uh, news are there about Viewer? Viewer is uh, our very popular online uh, cloud tool also for free. So uh, we have a lot of users of Viewer and sometimes we encountered some downtime. So with a new technology in the background, we try to significantly reduce these uh, downtimes. Also, uh, you will notice much faster response when switching between uh, items of the project. Uh, we have a new we have new pop-up messages uh, informing you about the processes that are currently being done or finished. Uh, also, when you want to generate 3D DVG file uh, from viewer, uh, now this process is uh, running in the background, which means you can still continue working uh, in viewer and a big change is that now, from uh, now on, you are able to see load effects in Viewer as well. So let's uh, let's see it in action. I'm in the Viewer. I can call the Viewer either from our web page or from uh, our Idea Statica uh, desktop uh, application. When you run it, you will be able to open Viewer there as well. Uh, you are able to download the 3D DVG file here, Ideasatica file or IFC file. Now you can see this new pop-up messaging and also the faster response when switching from uh, item to item. Okay, now uh, let's generate a 3D DVG file. It's uh, running in the background, so still I'm able to uh, work uh, without uh, some delays. Now it's done. You can either save it. This time I will not save it. Uh, you can see uh, all the uh, items of the project, including the load, which is the new thing in uh, new version of Idea Statica. Uh, also, we have some changes in the 
presentation of the plates in of the scene. If you want to change uh, the unit system, you can do so under the project tab. And once you return to the design tab, you can see the units has been changed for uh, the drawings and also for the load. I will go on with other new functions. The big one for our enterprise customers is the single sign-on. So from now on, you can choose between the standard uh, sign-in system where you have your username and a password, or you can transfer uh, to single sign-on using your Microsoft or Google account uh, logins or credentials. Uh, and you will use it for uh, the desktop, uh, desktop application as well as the user portal. So again, uh, I want to mention that this is for our enterprise customers. If you have an enterprise license, you can start using this. And speaking about the user portal, you may have uh, noticed that uh, it underwent some facelift uh, because we want to develop this platform a lot in the future and we want to do it uh, nice and smooth to use. Uh, you can encounter some changes here. Uh, so please visit our user portal. It's a place where you can uh, manage your license. You can find out the details about your account. Also, you can submit your technical questions. You can open our uh, web applications like uh, Connection Library or Viewer. Plus, there's this educational platform called Campus, uh, which I totally recommend to visit. Everything there is for free and it's really useful to uh, give it a try and go through Campus. The last point from me is uh, another improvement regarding uh, like help to our users. So whenever or when you encounter some error in the application, it may be uh, licensing related or maybe some bug fix that has been already uh, fixed, uh, you will be taken to our support center via the hyperlink button so you can help yourself faster solving your issue or uh, you will be prompted you will be prompt to download the new version uh, with which includes already the fix of this issue so i'm uh, passing it back to jan to sum this up and to add uh, the last uh, great things of 24 version Thank you, Anna. So a quick summary about our cloud and BIM uh, uh, improvements. Uh, I personally think the free checkbot is the biggest improvement. So now the cooperation between engineers, detailers, engineer of record, proof engineers uh, will be really easy. Everyone can have an access to idea statica technology now. Also the viewer with, with its improvements uh, and showing load effects and quick response can uh, boost your productivity. Single sign-on for big customers. Uh, I've heard many times for, from admins with 100 plus users that it's uh, not easy to maintain the license. So this will be super easy now. User portal improvements. Uh, we need to uh, uh, put our uh, questions and cases to partner portal, check our license now even easier and error handling. Uh, if you face some issue, you don't need to wait for our help desk, which works really quickly anyway, but uh, in most cases you will get your answer through the link. So I will take the presenter and show you the last part. Do you see my screen? Yes, we can. Okay, so I don't have much time, only one minute. So I would like, to, uh, I will be really quick. So, we also have some uh, improvements which go through all the application. Uh, it's about shared preferences. We have new tooltips, uh, keyboard shortcuts, and also we introduced new language, uh, Brazilian Portuguese. So uh, the shared preferences, and uh, now you can use the same settings across all applications. Uh, if you do some changes, it will be applied immediately. 
and you can also use the search uh, search field so if you are looking for some uh, settings you can just find it into search so this should help you to keep all your uh, projects aligned also we introduced uh, new links in our tooltips so for example if you don't know what's this button about you can just uh, uh, stay with your cursor there and then you have new learn more uh, uh, link so if you click on it it will be redirected to our support center so like example here you are adding a, a new load cases uh, there is learn more and you will get a nice article which will describe more in detail how to define load effects also with uh, uh, other language versions so feel free to use it and we will add more and more those links uh, to the application. And also one of the big improvements is uh, keyboard shortcuts. Uh, we inter finally, we introduced uh, shortcuts so you can use those you know from other, other applications like save projects, undo, redo, open, rename item. So you can see the currently working shortcuts here and uh, feel free to use it in your daily work. Also, new language, as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, Brazilian Portuguese, uh, which is like, I don't know how many languages do we have right now, a lot. So uh, if you are from uh, South America or working on projects in Brazil, you can use this language on your in your projects. So that's about the general news. And I have my final poll here. So I would like to ask you, what do you like the most about in the version 24 so if it's if those are still pins uh, 3d detail beta version checkbot free and or keyboard shortcuts so we picked one from each part feel free to add to your questions if you like something different then we selected here if you are watching uh, this uh, from the recording on youtube feel free to add it to comments what you like the most and we would be happy to see which features brings you the, the biggest value. So almost 50% of you have voted. I, I will wait 10 more seconds. So who want to say opinion, we are happy. I'm closing the poll right now and let's share. Okay, so it's tight, but the winner is uh, three, the beta version of 3D Detail, 42%, followed by still pins. And then uh, the co keyboard shortcuts only 6%, good, <laughs> and 11% free checkbot. So thank you very much for your opinion. And I will move on. Uh, we have also the part for uh, questions and answers but we don't have one time i will ask my colleagues whether there was some question which should be answered in loud one or two please we are running out of time no volunteer so we yes okay adam we are continuously um, replying to your questions in the chat so let me pick two or three of them and we are handling them um, in the meantime. So um, that is a good question regarding these sketches uh, that I have shown during my presentations. Can you export the connection sketches to other software such as AutoCAD, DVG, or DXF formats? Um, so I can probably <laughs> directly answer this question as well. So it's um, Directly, it's not possible for now in current version, but what you can do is uh, you can open the connection model in Viewer and export the 3D DVG or IFC as Jana demonstrated in her part of the presentation. So this is how it works with the sketches uh, in this version 24.0. All right, um, another question regarding uh, the detail application. Does a wall detail check out of plane buckling? Lucas? No, uh, this analysis is not included and in the, there is material nonlinear analysis, but the buckling is not included yet. 
All right. And one more question. Um, if I, when I export connection from Tecla to Idea Statica, the operations were split into so many sub operations. Can we uh, somehow organize it in the connection app? Um, the question is yes, maybe I can take the presenter and just show you where to find the information, how to do that. Yes, please, Adam, show it. So if I go to um, webpage ideastatica.com, go to the support and learning part, and here I can search for keywords and articles. So if I input operations, it shows me a couple of uh, articles, and here the tree of entities, that's what I'm interested in. And here, if you have a long list of operations, you can right click on the operation uh, menu and change the view or the sorting. So it can be um, as a sequence, so which was the first one, followed by the other one, or by operation type, or by member. So these operations would be then sorted by for each member, so that that's practical for uh, bigger models. All right. That's it for the question. I have one, I have one okay. remark. Uh, I have tried to send the link to the uh, form, the online form, to become or to get the free license to 3D detail. I uh, have sent it through Chatter. I don't know whether uh, the audience got it. So if you can just uh, confirm into, into questions that you can see the link somewhere in the go to. Uh, All right, I can show you how the... Yes, okay, I can see like. that. Uh, yeah, great. So this is the way uh, how you can uh, uh, apply for, for the license and to test it. Okay. okay. Thank you. Anything else which should be said here? Loud? Okay, if not, we are running out of time, so I will take the presenter and finish uh, the webinar. So if we, if some of the questions were not answered, we will uh, answer it uh, individually. So feel free to add more questions and what's next. I will recommend you to read the full list of release notes uh, in our uh, resource center. So there, there's a lot of articles about all the features and there are more features. We didn't have a time to show everything here. And we already planned our next webinar. Uh, in June 6, it will be about the workflow between uh, steel and concrete. So something we showed here just briefly, we will, we will have a dedicated webinar for this. So feel free to register. We are looking forward. Also, uh, there will be a form after the webinar. So we, are, uh, we will be happy for your feedback. Feel free to add your comments. What would you like to see from the new features? Because we are also planning a series of webinars where, where we will show more in detail some of those features. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you for your attendance. And we are looking forward to your feedback from the version 24. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Have a great day. Enjoy version 24. Bye-bye.